What's up YouTube, Jason here, Morph Mixology Reptiles. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be super quick, super easy. It's feeding time. All right, so here's the deal. Uh, as many of you know, if you follow the channel a long time, you know that we bred all of our own rodents for a long time. Um, I've got build videos on doing uh, breeder racks and maternity racks and you know rearranging the room and changing it over to the rat room and this, that, and the other. But if you've been watching the channel the last couple weeks, you also know that I now have a baby on the way. So we just decided that the rats in the house did not make sense anymore. Um, I was tired, uh, in all honesty, I was tired of the work, but that's not a big deal because I liked having my own rats. I could just drop in, you know, if they didn't eat, whatever. Um, but the big thing was the smell because in all honesty, unless you have a highly, highly ventilated, tons of airflow in and out constantly room, which is hard to do in Montana in the winter, by the way, um, there is no way to get around the smell. I don't care what anybody tells you. And I was tired of having all the dust and rat crap and everything else in the air and all that stuff, especially with the baby on the way. So there is nothing in my rat room anymore. It is completely bare. See, nothing left. We've actually been using it to paint stuff because it's just got bare concrete floors. So nothing in the rat room, including the mice. They're all gone too. So, it's empty. So because of that, since there is no more breeding going on here, uh, I've had to switch to frozen thawed. And this is not a video about how to switch because I'm in the process of trying it myself and it's, it's a practice in patience, if nothing else. Um, part of the problem is I'm switching right in the middle of breeding season, which is kind of tough because uh, females and males during breeding a lot of times go off food anyway so it's hard to transition them into something new while they're kind of finicky on food to begin with so I'd like to think that once we get eggs down in that um, I can get them going really good but I'm also trying to learn how to transition everybody over um, so I'm not doing a video about that at all in fact I'm probably going to change my, bre my uh, feeding process and split the room in half and feed uh, hatchlings and maybe the, the grow ups or something on one day and the breeder stuff on another just to just make it easier because one thing that does, that I have noticed already with Frozen Thought is it takes more time, obviously. Um, these have been sitting here since last night before I went to bed so that they would start defrosting and then you gotta get them warm and you gotta stand there with the tongs and you know, it's, it was definitely easier breeding your own rats when you just flip a new one, you know, a new one into a tub and you come back 20 minutes later and if it's gone, it's gone. If not, you put it back in the rack. That was awesome. And if we ever move to a place where I can do that outside of my house, I will absolutely go back to live. So anyway, today's video, I'm actually just gonna film a couple of feedings and I'm gonna do so with all of the display snakes because they are relentless eaters, usually, well, I don't, you know, knock on wood, now it's probably not going to work, but um, they almost never reject food. So that'll be kind of fun. So I'm just going to do a feeding video because it's been requested a bunch and I know people like to see the snakes eating that. I'm going to try to use my little camera and get in there for some time lapse, you know, some slow-mo, whatever, and feed these five guys here and then uh, I'll start feeding the rest of the collection off camera. I've rambled on long enough. Let's get to feeding some of these guys and hopefully get some really cool shots of some snakes eating. All right, first up here is my boy Simba, the Dumeril's boa. By the way, all of the rats are wet. Uh, some people do it this way, some don't. I like to get them hot in hot water and it gets them a little bit of uh, moisture in their system too. Um, I don't know if you can see him in this shot. He's actually right there, right there up front. So we're gonna open this left side here. Oh, he's awake. Just 
just like that, man. This, these doom rolls are so fast and so strong. All right, you guys, next up is my girl, Sabrina. Love this girl, she's a fantastic eater. And she's been using that, that ledge up there quite a bit. She really seems to like that. And she, a lot of times I'll come in here at night and she'll be perched up there like she's hunting. But let's see if she's ready to eat. She always eats really well. There you go. And she's actually done this twice now where she'll hit it like that from a hunting pose and then she'll she'll hang there like a green tree python and eat it um, in a hanging position, which is pretty interesting. So we'll put the time lapse on her and see how it goes. All right guys, so this one's gonna be kind of fun. This is my my boy Miko, the uh, Chromehead Sumatran Shorttail Python. Very motivated eater, very powerful eater, but he's in his water right now, which is normal. The uh, Shorttails in particular like a lot of moisture, like water. So we're gonna have to we have to tease him out over here, get him out over the out of the water. I'll bring him over. Hopefully get his attention over here. Here we go. There he comes. And there you go. That was a pretty pretty hard hitter there, obviously. He moved his light. He's partly in his water, partly not. It's always exciting with Miko. He's a pretty pretty animated eater for sure. And they are so insanely strong. It's really amazing. But take a look at that. Just solid muscle. Insane amounts of muscle. All right, let's go ahead and feed Jameson, the albino boa, possible head anery, a couple of little things in there. We might bring him someday, we just gotta get the right female for him. Jameson's a little bit more iffy on feed, but we'll see if he is excited here. There he goes. Good little eater. Took him a little bit to get used to the frozen thawed, but he's doing really good now. He looks super cool in this cage with that 3D background from Universal Rock. Now right, guys, last but certainly not least is my girl Nala here, the big Doom Rolls female. See her hiding over there by her water. We'll try to get her over here a little bit closer to this log. But we don't screw around with this girl because she's long, she's super powerful, and she's known to come out of her cage when she eats. So we've got a nice, long 24 inch set of hemostats here. I've actually never used these, I just got these in. Let's wake her up, make sure she's aware that we're here. Hey, hey pumpkin, oh, there you go. 
You can see her coming now. She knows we're here. We're gonna ride over here. Watch how fast this happens. You'll see why I use long hemostats on this one. There you go. See her come flying out of that cage? She was well past the camera. She was well past the camera, guys, believe me. Um, that was actually fairly exciting. She was at least this far out on that shot. So, yeah, that's Nala. Let's take a look at her as she eats this. All right guys, how cool was that? Hope you enjoyed. Uh, just a quick little feeding of these guys here. I've got a few more to go for the rest of the collection. It is very tedious, very time consuming. It's just how it goes with Frozen Thawed. Cannot wait till I can get back to uh, feeding live, but that's gonna have to be in a different place in a different building. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Fun little video. Like, share, and subscribe as always if you haven't. Don't forget to check out our Instagram post and story about the new merch and the new logo. Uh, I'm doing a pre-order on all the stuff. It helps keep the price down to be able to do a large order all at once. So get those going. We can get you a really cool uh, shirt or hat or mug or something in that new logo that we're really, really proud of. Um, and I will get that order going here pretty soon. We will not be at Tinley this weekend, unfortunately. Can't make it. Um, depending on how it goes with the baby, we might try to make August, but or excuse me, October. But we'll have to see how that goes. So that'll do it for us this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.